I think they should work for it like we did. I mean, if you think about it, they're in prison for a reason, doing something bad. And we're out here trying to better ourselves, and we don't get it for free. So, I mean, that's kind of messed up. You just got out of prison. Come out and show us you're worthy. Hudson Link is a nonprofit organization that came into being after the federal funding for the college students inside um, prisons dried up. And there were a group of inmates that had realized how important college was. It actually probably starts back in the 1990s when the state of New York uh, incredibly foolishly decided to stop funding education and prison programs, especially college education. In, in inside correctional facilities. Community colleges, for example, could no longer run these programs because they couldn't really get the federal funding for them. So Hudson Link stepped in and said, well, we're gonna become a nonprofit and we're going to try to raise money to restore these programs. So we're a nonprofit organization. All of our money comes from donations and grants and whatever. Nothing is federally funded. Probably four or five years ago, they ended up approaching us as being one of their partner schools. They came to me, or I, I should say my chair, you know, said who would be interested in teaching in the prison. It's not as if it, most people jump to that opportunity. And I said, well, I'd be happy to. Professor Russell was there from day one. He, um, he, was, he was so thrilled with the way that the class participated. Many people, they have a hard time looking at inmates as anything but criminals. I don't see them as criminals when I'm there. I normally have really great time with them. In order to get in the program, you have to first go two years without any infractions, infractions or any misbehavior reports that can lead to confinement. So, as you can imagine, to be in prison, that's a very hard process to go through. And you're faced with all type of adversities, all type of challenges, from, you know, from family, from, you know, security who don't want you to participate in the program. And sometimes they'll try to provoke you into, you know, responding in a negative way that will cause you to get a misbehavior report that will preclude you from the program. A lot of staff, they make these statements like, you know, um, oh, they going to college, they going to college for free. But I'm like, I did 25 years. I'll trade places with you anytime. The other thing to remember is that, unfortunately, the education that these men get is not a typical college education. They get the classrooms. That's what they get. They get, they get what happens in the class. They don't get significant interaction with the faculty member because the faculty member has to come and go. They get it during the time period when they're, and they're there, but not outside of class. They have no access to a campus life. They have no access to sort of the clubs and the other sort of social interaction that happens on a college campus. They have no sense of connection to the place. It's, it's college, but it's not college. It's not the college experience that the vast majority of college graduates get. They also understand that this is a gift for them. This is something that when they were sentenced to prison, the last thing they thought they were going to be doing is walking out with a college education. They can't move without consistently being broken down. They can't move without someone saying stop and then being searched. They can't do it. They are not allowed to move freely. The thing I enjoy most about this program, one, it gives me my name back in a sense, because without this program, I was nothing but a number. You can't estimate how much it means to them. You cannot estimate how much it means to these men to first of all have someone come in and to not treat them as prisoners. So when we come in and when we decide that we are going to actually show them a modicum of respect, that we're going to look at them as actual real students, that in itself goes beyond what we learn in the classroom. That goes beyond the books that they read. That is just that moment when they realize that they can be something other than the worst thing that's ever happened to them.
I wanted to go through this program not only to prove to myself or close friends or family members, I wanted to show them that because of one bad decision or poor judgment, all hope is not lost. Just because I'm in prison doesn't mean that I can't change or accomplish much bigger and better things. And I realize if I set my focus on it and I strive hard enough, I can achieve all my goals. And I think for Tim, there's something, there's something very pure about what they're doing. And I say pure because it is education for the sake of education. It's education to enrich themselves and make them better people. I had, a man, I had one, one time, I'll never forget this, I don't think I will ever forget this. He just sat down and we were talking for a little while and he said, I'm gonna die in here. And I just want to make myself a better person. I was just blown away by it, uh, by just the notion that he felt like he wanted to improve himself in some way. Beyond that though, I mean aside from that, many of these guys will get out. And this is the thing that um, I think most people don't understand, is that when they get out, not only will they not be coming back in, you know, it's not just that, is that when they go out, they often have a mission. And that mission often focuses around making sure the young people in their neighborhood do not do what they did. When you talk to them about what they want to do when they get out, if they get out, you know, what they normally say is something that is very socially positive. With my degree, I will be able to go to those communities and speak directly to the children and let them know that everything that you think is possible is possible because I'm an example of it. And so you can see that they're not just doing it to learn the material to get a job. They're doing it to learn the material to see what kind of impact it has on their life and on their entire world. And there's something absolutely wonderful and refreshing about that. And many of them are just really good souls who want nothing more than to have a positive impact from here on out.